So then what you're gonna do is I've got this plugged in here to here and then I plug in my USB, the cam link, go ahead and plug that in and then I have my HDMI. So then I'm gonna take the HDMI, which I've got the cord right, I've got a cord right here for it. I know I got cords all over the place. So I'm gonna plug that cord right into here like that. So now I've got my cord all the way plugged in and then I'm gonna take this piece and then I'm gonna plug that into my camera. So right here, I'm gonna plug that into this part right there. And then when I turn on the camera, um, you'll see it's connected. The cam link, if you come over here, you can see that the light has turned on, it's connected. So now what we'll do is we'll go to the computer and at the computer, you'll be able to see um, how to set up the camera link. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I set up my Zoom and how I connected up to the Elgato and the uh, DSLR. So I'm all connected, I plugged in my HDMI, got everything connected to the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and launch Zoom and from, I have my uh, meetings and I'm gonna go ahead and hit this little icon over here and go to settings. And from settings, I'm gonna to go to video. And you can see I have my FaceTime connected and all you should have to do is click this drop down and switch to the cam link. And so now you can see it just switched. So it's like totally, totally different, right? The quality, everything looks so much better. The other thing is you wanna make sure that your audio is on and then you choose the um, external uh, mic that you're using. So like I'm using a Rode Podcaster and it it does really, really well. So you can also test out your speakers, whatever you've got going on there. But once you have this configuration, when you go live um, or you do like a go to meeting or a, a Zoom, then it's going to come out of this camera, not out of your FaceTime camera, but the actual uh the actual DSLR. So it works really well. But what you have to make sure is, is that you have to make sure that you see this little E up here. You have to make sure that you install the software. So when you go to um, Elgato, so you can see I'm on the website. You scroll down and what you want is you want um, if you're going to do OBS, then you need an OBS link for Mac. You need to download that or Thunderbolt dock utility for Mac. This is what I downloaded and that uh, loads this up here and you can see that it's plugged in. So that is all you do. You just double click on it. It'll automatically download and then you just load it after it loads. It starts working perfectly.